YouTube, how's it going guys? Um, so pretty much um, this video I was hoping to um, have some footage of lifting the bourbon for you guys. Um, pretty much trying to lift this by myself was an absolute nightmare. I had the camera set up um, on the tripod in a few spots. I just couldn't get um, very good angles and um, didn't make for a very good video. So doubt I will um, be posting that, but um, I'll do kind of a little bit of a walkthrough on uh, what all we've done and um, what's changed, what's coming up and um, all that. So let's get into it. So like I was saying, got the lift installed. Um, you can see by the garage door, that is an eight foot garage door. So the top of the bourbon is a little bit under eight foot. You can tell I'm about six foot, so give or take. Um, it's in about seven foot or a little bit above. But um, the main reason of doing all this was the front. I was um, rubbing quite a bit with um, doing the extreme windshield and all that inside. So um, from the floor up before I had 37 or 38 inches and now about 40 and a quarter. So we gained at least that three inches um, from the blocks basically. You can see some of the stuff I did there. There's another block there and um, going on down. But um, I do need to get in here and paint the frame because it shows all the rust pretty bad now so I'll be getting in here and touching all that up and uh, also gonna have to redo some of my um, um, insulation wrap I had to uh, pull a little bit of it off right here to get to the brake line to pull that up but um, I'll be doing that shortly also in here I had to relocate the um, under the hood fuse block it was on the little um, electrical center thing um, this is just a piece of it. I'm going to go and get me another one. Um, with the way that the alternators were in here, they were a lot higher. Um, I had to take, basically take the side of this off. And I don't know what I did with it, so I'm just going to get me a new one. But uh, pretty much with the lift, the engine bay all stayed the same. And then the whole body lifted. So I uh, basically everything in here went up uh, three inches. So... The alts technically are down three inches now, but realistically everything just lifted up. So um, the whole engine is kind of tucked in there now, but uh, it is what it is. Just had to move some wires. Like I said, I got um, just some temporary stuff going for the alts right now, but uh, I'd like to switch them out for these little uh, brackets here. These see if I can zoom in it's a dual bracket or a dual um, input so I'll be getting a couple of those for the front three alts and uh, we'll be going from there I also went ahead and swapped out my regulator so I got me a new regulator pretty much looks the same but um, this one is the heavy-duty model so um, should be good on charging now and should be able to um, actually have it set at the voltage I want and be able to drive around with the alts uh, before the set point was broke on the other one so I didn't know where it was set so um, get that fixed and um, be able to play this a lot more so in the back we're pretty much the exact same as when you guys seen it last, you got the two Nendo 17Ks. Everything is ready to go for the other amps. Everything's pre-wired. I uh, just got to basically put them in and uh, wire them up. I got all my dual inputs. I literally got everything. Uh, it's just a matter of putting the other two amps in and um, then just redoing some wire on, on the sub um, outputs. Basically take these jumpers off and then just have a set coming in off of each uh, distro well, uh, basically one group of three subs per amp is what's going to be so right now I have four subs 
on um, it's just wired uh, two subs and two subs and then they're linked together I have um, four of the subs out as you guys know so I'll go ahead and give you a shot of that but um, pretty much in the next video I'm hoping to actually get this thing out and get some footage of it playing for you guys or at least um, test around on some burps at some low volume if it, if it's here at the house, you know. So, but got some plans. Um, got the lift done finally, so that's a big check off the list. Now I can um, go ahead and finish everything under the hood, make sure it's ready to drive for the end of this month, and uh, get everything taped up. Kind of test the loading wall a little bit. I just slapped those roundovers in there. Um, so once I get that tested and uh, taped up, it should be good. But that's all we got, guys. Um, like I said, I'm sorry for uh, not being able to get some footage of it actually being able to lift. But um, this thing is super heavy, as you guys could probably tell. Um, and lifting it with just a couple three-ton jacks was not ideal. Uh, definitely do not recommend that. So if you guys are... Um, Gonna be doing it in a lift. Make sure you do it before you get all the stuff installed. Can obviously be done, just way harder, uh, way more time consuming. So, anyway, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to keep a lookout for the uh, next set of videos. Hopefully, um, be able to get this thing playing. So, I went ahead and got the LEDs in the uh, turn signal spots i'll show those at a later date but you guys pretty much get the idea of that so pretty much transitioning back to the system I'm gonna start going at it uh, pretty hard here it's middle of march so shows are coming back the warm weather's coming back so time to get this thing out so anyways i appreciate it thanks guys for watching and have a good one